brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. I was talking to a buddy of mine, asking him what people were struggling with out in the real world because I was working in, in education. And he said, uh, I've been listening to you for a while, Deloney. Me and my wife, we put all our screens away, all our phones and iPads. And now me and my daughters are just sitting in the living room staring at each other. And I was like, well, we'll talk to them. And he goes, okay, I'll just talk to them. And then the light bulb went off and I said, oh, you don't know how. Yeah. I like, need some prompts. It's a skill set, right? <laughs> and right. so it was as simple as, hey, I'm going to give you some prompts. And the results, I'm getting credit, the halo credit right. of people actually talking again right. without phones, yeah. communicating with one another, having fun, laughing, crying, whatever. And it's the questions for humans, man. Questions for humans. So questions we're going to do a unlock. questions for humans yeah. segment here. And so James, James is going to surprise us. Yeah. So James, you're going to, I guess, uh, you take over. We're just now, you're, you're hosting. Yeah, so I picked a few that are kind of fun and lighthearted, and then some that are a little more serious. So, oh boy, uh, we'll start with the. Am I gonna cry? I don't know. All right. The first decks that you did were like real, you know, like what's your favorite poop joke, and now they've gotten real, real heartfelt and serious. <laughs> right. I've had to grow up in this. He's in this uh, radio job. So, first question is for John. Uh, yeah, maybe John, and then you can answer it too. So, what is hands down the best book, movie, or show of last year? Ooh, of last year or this year? Like just recent, the past year. Oh my goodness! The, um... For me, it's the uh, Yellowstone spinoff series, 1883 and 1923. I I can't remember the last time. Well, I can. Last time I enjoyed a television show that much uh, was Friday Night Lights. Uh, I thought those two shows fantastic. Loved them. Absolutely loved them. Only murders in the building. My wife and I got hooked on there seasons it is. one, See, two, three, I got, and I... we. That show is a masterpiece. There it's we fantastic. go. We unlocked him there. There you go. Yeah. All right. I like all those. Those are great. All right, this one is for you guys. If you two had to buy a plane ticket right now for, for a guy's trip together, where would you go? There's no way we'll ever come to consensus because I think we're wildly different in our, like... That's what makes it so fun. You got uh, to To me, okay, I'll say it's a, it's a tropical situation where there is pickleball, golf, spa, you know, ocean, sand. That's me. Can I tell you where my heart went, Ken? Where? I want to go to Normandy. I want you to walk me through it. Wow. Like, if I could have that Ken walk me fast. through, like, the history of these places, wow. I think every American should visit. Wow. And I don't know anything about it. James has been with me in Ken D.C. Uh, I got to experience Ken in D.C., <laughs> and I got to tell you, Normandy, that would be epic. It was he just, comes that's alive. really full impressive. Ken. Boy, I feel really shallow yeah. after that exchange. That's cool. I'd I get a mis- pulled- I, hey, I'd get a tropical massage that's with f- you too. Caribbean <laughs> pickleball versus D-Day. Just That's it. Well, two very different trips, but both rewarding. There you go. All right. What did you spend way too much money on in the last year? Oh, oh easy. Pickleball paddle. I went to a local lodge before a hunting trip, and I said, I need you to make sure I'm not uh, cold. And I said, I'm giving you a blank check, dude. And he came back, and we went to the register easily. The most expensive <laughs> you know what I've clothing right purchase now? I've ever made in my life by 100 miles. Suits. Dress boots, everything. I'm picturing Jim Carrey's character in Dumb and Dumber when they finally That's make exactly it to Colorado. Right. I mean, dude, I've got hunting gear that I hope my son gets married in it because it's going to be way more expensive than any tux, but I overspent wow. that by a lot. Wow. Now, hey. see, I spent more than just that. I want to clarify my answer, but you said overspent. It's like there's a reasonable number for said item, but there's some things I spent way more money on, but I went, I didn't overpay. That was worth it. Oh, I well, way overpaid. Inquiring minds want to know what kind of pickleball paddle. Uh, Jula. Yeah, it was. I uh, don't know, but Zach yeah. over here wanted. And I that. bought Sitka, the greatest hunting gear on planet Earth. Yeah, I love it. All right, what are two, one or two of your New Year's resolutions this year? I don't do resolutions. Uh, I have a have a fundamental stance against them. I kid you not, because the, all the data behind it. John probably knows even more about this than I do from the psychology side of things, but they just miserably fail. And so I read that about five or six years ago. And uh, so I have a I have a plan. I have a year plan for myself, and then my wife and I. And and and, and so it's it's not resolutions. They're just like this is where we're trying to get to. We have some destinations. Are there any highlights of stuff that you want to share? I know that's personal. Uh, highlights. Yeah, we want to do something really cool. I don't want to share it over the air, but there's a trip that we. We really, really want to do it. I know Stacy would not be comfortable with me describing that, but yeah. Is it a pickleball trip? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's tropical massages. I will yeah. tell you that 
I will look for a pickleball court at said trip. But yeah, stuff like that, financial goals. So we we said, how much do we want to invest this year? What are we giving? Where? It's that kind of stuff. I don't get into the whole. Uh, I'm gonna do dry January or. And I'm the opposite. I've got. You I've, have a bunch of resolutions. I got resolutions like. Give us one. In concrete. Give me top two. The two big ones. Are number one, and this is going to sound cheesy, James, and you're going to roll your eyes. I'm being dead serious because oh you'll know because you and I have worked together a lot. Very nervous. I want to become more likable. Um, and I would say delightful. I want people when I walk into the room, people don't go, Oh, God. I want them to go, Hey, I want everyone's disposition. And I know that I come around with a heavy energy. I'm always having heavy conversations. Did you read this? You know about dopamine? And it wears people out. And so, this year, I wow. want to be a more joyful presence when I walk in a room. Delightful. That's number one. I want to be delightful. And number two, I want to be on time. It's been a tough January. Which goes toward the number one. It helps with number one. People aren't instantly mad when I walk mm. in nine minutes late, right? That's good. Um, there's an incredible woman out in the audience that we had a meeting with earlier, and I was late to that meeting, so there we go. That's how good we're mm. doing. <laughs> That's probably a good resolution I could add, but you get my point. I, I do, I, yeah. I want bigger goals. So that it requires a lot of inertia. Well, and so for me to be more joyful, that means I got to pay those attention to great. going to bed. Those I got to eat right. I got to quit eating so much junk food. I, I would say yours are legit. Yeah. To the point that I don't even. That's way heavier and bigger than a resolution, and that's why gotcha. I like. I want to bench press two hundred. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, resolutions to me, I hear it's always I want to stop doing this. Uh, I like that yours was I want to grow. No, to become. Yeah, the research says if you want to stop a thing, that's pretty limited because usually you want to stop a thing because you don't like you. And so you're stopping a thing out of dislike for yourself. It never works. Yeah. If you want to become something new, That's, now you're onto something. Yeah. Yeah. You got time for more? Yeah, this one's maybe related, maybe not. So in what area of life do you think you'll need the most help over the next twelve months? Ken could use some hygiene help. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh I'm going to need help on uh, being on time. I'm going to need help on being a joyful presence. I'm going to have to practice this because it's not my natural disposition. I'm just kind of a kind of yeah. Make, do you make, have like you a, like like some like principles or like help with that? Or are you just like do you have something that's helping you become more likable? Or are you just kind of taking a stab at it? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of things. It's it's a little too personal for the air, but um, but I do have asked a few people to just point it out. Just point it out when you're when I have heavy energy in a room. Yeah. Are you open to the YouTube commenters helping you out? Nope. Mm, I, yeah, I, bring I, I you, hey, yeah, YouTubers. Oh, I am for him. come on, help out. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd um, be great. I, I tell you, I need help navigating this next season in the next year when my, my oldest son goes away. Whew. I'm not trying to bring us down. I'm just saying that's new territory for me. And I know my heart's going to hurt really, really bad. And uh, But it's natural and healthy, and it needs to happen. So anyway, I think I need to talk to some dudes who've been through that, and it'll be good. But I think that's going to be weird. So uh, that's gonna be tough. Way to, way to bring down a room, James. Thanks. <laughs> hey, that was, <laughs> Actually, that was, was my no, fault. No, that was good, guys. No, that was excellent. This is great stuff. Thank you, Dr. John Deloney, for that fabulous series. You can get it at RamseySolutions.com. All 397 editions of Conversations with Humans. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.